This sign means A. School crossing B. School zone C. Pedestrian crossing C. Pedestrian crossing This sign marks the presence of a crosswalk. Be alert to any pedestrians that may be crossing the roadway. What is a potential effect of taking a prescription drug while drinking alcohol? A. There will likely be no effect. B. It will make you more alert. C. It can make you unfit to drive. C. It can make you unfit to drive. Legal medications, both prescription and over-the-counter, can impair your ability to drive. They can be particularly dangerous when used in combination with alcohol. This sign means A. Upcoming downgrade or hill. B. Road construction area. C. Upcoming narrowing of roadway. A. Upcoming downgrade or hill. This sign warns of a dangerous downgrade or hill ahead. The hill may be very long or steep, or it may have sharp curves. You are coming to an intersection with a flashing red light. You should A. Slow down and yield the right of way. B. Slow down and drive carefully through the intersection. C. Come to a complete stop, check the traffic, and go when it is safe to do so. C. Come to a complete stop, check the traffic, and go when it is safe to do so. A flashing red traffic light means the same thing as a stop sign. You must come to a complete stop, yield to other traffic and pedestrians, and then proceed when it's safe to do so. Want to issue DMV test? Go to CheatSheets.com and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. This sign means A. Crossroad ahead. B. Merge. C. Stop. A. Crossroad ahead. This sign indicates that there is a crossroad ahead. When approaching an intersection that is controlled by a flashing red traffic signal, you must A. Come to a complete stop, yield to oncoming traffic or pedestrians, then proceed. B. Reduce your speed and proceed with caution. C. Come to a complete stop and remain stopped as long as the light is red. A. Come to a complete stop, yield to oncoming traffic or pedestrians, then proceed. Treat a flashing red traffic signal the same as you would treat a stop sign. Come to a complete stop, yield to oncoming traffic or pedestrians, and proceed when the way is clear. Before returning to your original lane after passing another vehicle, you should A. Beep your horn. B. See both headlights of the past vehicle in your rearview mirror. C. Flash your headlights. B. See both headlights of the past vehicle in your rearview mirror. When passing is permitted, look for both headlights of the past vehicle in your rearview mirror. Only then may you safely return to your original lane. To avoid traction loss on wet roads, you should A. Make abrupt turns. B. Apply the brakes firmly. C. Slow down. C. Slow down. To prevent hydroplaning, lower your speed in response to wet roads and keep your tires in good condition. If you detect a loss of control, take your foot off the gas, do not apply the brakes, maintain the direction of the vehicle, and allow the vehicle to slow to a manageable speed. Highway pavement will be particularly treacherous and most slippery. A. If it has been raining several hours. B. If it has just begun to rain.
C. If it has been raining for 1 to 2 hours. B. If it has just begun to rain. Pavement is particularly treacherous when it first begins to rain. Accumulations of dirt and oil mix with the rainwater, creating a greasy film on the roadway. When should you yield your legal right of way? A. Often, even at controlled intersections. B. Whenever it helps prevent collisions. C. Never. It confuses other drivers. B. Whenever it helps prevent collisions. Never assume other drivers will give you the right of way. Yield your right of way whenever it helps prevent collisions. If you are facing a green traffic light but the intersection ahead is blocked by traffic, you should a. Turn left and find another route. b. Stay out of the intersection until traffic clears. c. Follow the other vehicles and enter the intersection. b. Stay out of the intersection until traffic clears. Even if you are facing a green traffic light, do not start across the intersection if there are other vehicles blocking your way. If you are caught in the intersection when the light changes to red, your vehicle will block cross traffic. You can get a ticket for blocking an intersection. A solid yellow line next to a broken yellow line means that vehicles A. Driving in both directions may pass. B. Next to the broken line may pass. C. Next to the solid line may pass. B. Next to the broken line may pass. Yellow lines separate lanes of traffic moving in opposite directions. A broken yellow line next to your driving lane means that you may pass. Work zone barriers, drums, cones, and signs are used to a. Make drivers angry about slow traffic. b. Inconvenience drivers. c. Keep traffic out of hazardous work zones. Roads with double solid yellow line markings down the center indicate that passing is a. Allowed from both directions. b. Allowed only from your direction of travel. C. Not allowed from either direction. C. Not allowed from either direction. A double solid yellow line down the center of a road indicates that traffic is moving in opposite directions and that passing is not allowed from either direction. If your vehicle begins to skid, you should A. Ease up on the gas pedal. B. Break as hard as possible. C. Turn off the ignition. A. Ease up on the gas pedal. If your vehicle begins to skid, release the accelerator or brake pedal to regain vehicle balance. Steer in the direction of the skid to regain control of the vehicle. This sign means A. Merge right. B. Divided highway begins. C. Lane ends. C. Lane ends. This sign indicates that the right lane ends ahead. A merging maneuver will be required for drivers in that lane. A green arrow displayed on a traffic light means A. Drivers must turn in the indicated direction. B. Drivers may turn in the indicated direction after coming to a complete stop. C. Drivers may not turn in the indicated direction. A. Drivers must turn in the indicated direction. If a traffic signal is displaying a green arrow, traffic in the indicated lane should proceed in the direction shown by the arrow. Traffic turning on a green arrow has the right of way, but drivers should still be cautious of pedestrians and other vehicles that may be in the intersection. This sign means A. 
One way traffic. B. Intersection ahead. C. Merging traffic from the right. C. Merging traffic from the right. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. They alert you to conditions that are immediately ahead. This sign tells drivers to prepare to allow traffic to safely merge from the right. When approaching a person who is crossing the street while using a white cane or guide dog, you should A. Stop until the person is well away from your path of travel. B. Honk your horn as you proceed past them. C. Carefully drive around them. A. Stop until the person is well away from your path of travel. When approaching a pedestrian who is using a white cane or guide dog while crossing the street, you must stop until the person is well away from your path of travel. Always yield the right of way to blind pedestrians. This sign means A. Reserved parking for persons with disabilities. B. Slow moving vehicle. C. No U turn. A. Reserved parking for persons with disabilities. This sign indicates parking spaces that are reserved for vehicles displaying persons with disabilities license plates, disabled veteran license plates, and or disabled parking placards. This sign indicates a A. Railroad crossing. B. Pedestrian crossing. C. No passing zone. A. Railroad crossing. Yellow signs with black markings are used to warn drivers about upcoming hazards or special conditions. Round signs are used only to warn about upcoming railroad crossings. There are two traffic lanes moving in your direction. You are driving in the left lane and many vehicles are passing you on the right. If the driver behind you wishes to drive faster, you should A. Stay in your lane so you don't impede the flow of traffic. B. Drive onto the left shoulder to let the other vehicles pass. C. Move into the right lane when it is safe. What does this road sign mean? A. Falling rocks. B. Trucks use second gear. C. Steep hill. C. Steep hill. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. This sign indicates that you are approaching a steep hill. Slow down and be ready to shift to a lower gear to control your speed and protect your brakes from damage. At a school crossing sign, you should A. Always stop, whether there is a stop sign or not. B. Watch for children and be ready to stop. C. Always sound your horn when you see children. B. Watch for children and be ready to stop. Pentagonal signs mean you are approaching a school zone and or school crossing. When you see these signs, be alert and prepare to stop. Consistently clean the inside of your windows if anyone has been smoking because A. Smoking causes a film to build up on the glass inside your vehicle. B. Dust tends to settle on the insides of car windows. C. The stale smell can be distracting. A. Smoking causes a film to build up on the glass inside your vehicle. Keep the inside of your windows clean, especially if anyone has been smoking in the vehicle. Smoking causes a film to build up on the glass. As you enter into a roundabout, you should slow down and A. Yield to any crossing pedestrians and bicyclists. B. Yield to any car already within the roundabout. C. Both of the above. C. Both of the above.
When entering a roundabout, you must yield to pedestrians, bicyclists, and traffic already in the roundabout. You have stopped for a train at a railroad crossing. After the train passes, you should a. Wait for signal lights to stop flashing. b. Look for a second train. c. Both of the above. c. Both of the above. Even after a train passes, watch out for a second train approaching on any track. Do not proceed until all gates have been lifted and all warning signals have stopped flashing. After you have passed a vehicle moving in the same direction, it is safe to move back into the right lane? A. After about 3 seconds. B. When you can no longer see the passed vehicle over your right shoulder. C. When you can see the entire front of the passed vehicle in your rearview mirror. C. When you can see the entire front of the passed vehicle in your rearview mirror. When passing, you should not return to your original lane until you can see both headlights of the passed vehicle in your rearview mirror. Always check your blind spots before moving back into your original lane. To be able to turn quickly, your hands must be a. on opposite sides of the steering wheel b. next to each other on the top of the steering wheel c. On the top and bottom of the steering wheel. A. On opposite sides of the steering wheel. Both hands should be placed on opposite sides of the steering wheel. This position is comfortable and promotes safe turning on high speed roadways. This yellow warning sign means A. You are approaching a school or school crosswalk. B. Slow down, drive with caution, and watch for children. C. Both of the above. C. Both of the above. This sign is placed on roads near schools to warn drivers to slow down, drive with caution, and watch for children.